Hello guys, in this tutorial we're gonna learn about Dart. So Dart is an open source programming language developed by Google in 2011. In order to make our application using the Flutter SDK, we are going to use the Dart programming language. So I'm pretty sure if you're, uh, you came from C Sharp, C or Java, you'll get familiar with the syntax that we are going to use in Dart. So in order to get started, let's open our Visual Studio Code. Okay, I clear the screen for that. Then what we're going to do is we open up our folder where we we're gonna place our Dart file. So in order to do that, you go to file, then you click open folder. So you can see here, we have the shortcut, control K, control O. So how are you going to do that? You press the control on your keyboard, you hold it, and then press KO on your keyboard. So now we have here, we're gonna open uh, our folder. So it's very important to know the shortcut. So I have here the folder test, and then we're gonna open the Dart files folder. I'm gonna select that, and I'm gonna click select folder. Then I'm inside my Dart files folder. I have two Dart files here. And then in my terminal, I have here these um, path. So now we're going to create a Dart file. In order to create a Dart file, the easiest way is to click this icon here, new file. Or you can go to file and then select the new file here. Then you type the name, but I prefer to do it here. Click this one. Then we're just going to type the name of our Dart file. Uh, make sure there, there are small letters. Let's say example.dart. Then press enter on your keyboard. Do not forget to place the Dart file at the end. That means we're creating a Dart file. And, you're, and you can see here the Dart uh, logo or icon here. So we'll press enter on our keyboard. Now we can start our uh, code. So like C or C Sharp or Java, there will always be a void main. So we have here our void main function. The void here is the return type. Since main function does not return anything to, to other functions, so our return type here is void. But can we just type main without writing void? Yes, but that's not the right way. So we're doing the right way here. So we're typing void main, and then we have our curly brackets or curly braces. So automatically, when you type the curly bracket or brace, it has the open curly bracket, curly brace, and the closing curly brace. That's uh, that's making our uh, code, our typing uh, fast. We don't have to type closing it's it's uh, given to us directly so we're gonna place our closing curly brace at the bottom that's how we arrange that here we, we do our code here in in dart so inside we can now uh, place or type our data types so here the data types that we're going to learn here are these uh, data types. First, the string, int, double, boolean, var, and list. So we're just gonna type here, string, data type. Let's say your variable name is name. The value is flutter. So in Dart, we are using the single code. There's an ongoing de debate on this. If uh, it should be double code or single code, but it's much clear. Uh, it's much clearer, and it's easy to use this, the single code. So, for consistency and for clarity, let's just use single code here. So, 
I have a variable name and then that has a string data type. Next would be the end data type. And let's say the variable name is X and we had a value of five. Next, we have the data type of double and ha okay, uh, Y variable that has a value of 5.5. Then we have, uh, what's the next one? We have the Boolean. Boy is equal to true because the Boolean has two values, uh, true or false. Then we have the var, let's say id is equal to, uh, let's say, 002. Okay, and last one is list data type. And then let's say um, id number, or let's say address. Okay. Now, um, if your value is only a number that has no decimal point, you can use the int data type. Now, if your value has a decimal point, we use the double data type. If your value is true or false, then we use the boolean. Now, for var, if you're not you, uh, if you're not sure about the value of id, you can use var. Here. I'm just uh, placing the value of ID as 002, but maybe you can put there string and then 002 or hello. Because uh, if you're not you're not sure about the value of ID. So if you're sure and it's a it's an integer, it's a number, and you can use int. But if you're not sure, you can use var. Now list. List is a collection of data um we place that in this variable address and it's using square brackets so it's like using a um array but here you can place one or more elements separated by comma let's say the name is dark comma and then 002 5.5 and so on and so forth let's say we can have here true or another number which is 10. So we have here collection of data inside our uh, address variable and it has a data type of list. Okay, now in Dart, if we want to print the variable value, we use print. So we select here, it has a suggestion. And then again, we use a single quote. But if you don't want to add any strings here we just want to display directly the value of name you can place here the name uh, the variable name which is name then don't forget the semicolon at the end and then before we run this program you have to see here that there's a white circle which means these changes these changes um, are not yet saved so we are going to save our, uh, our changes that we've made. So we are going to press Control S on our keyboard. Then the white circle disappears. Now, in order to run our program, let's go up to our terminal and the result will be displayed here as well. You type here, dart space and the name of our dart file, which is example.dart. Then we press enter. Now we have the result because we're printing the value of name, which is flutter. Now, if you want to display the value of x, you can just change the variable name here to x. And then again, control S and then go back here. Now, in order to not type, if you want to clear the screen, you can type CLS, press enter. You clear the screen. Now, in order not to type again the, the command that we have used, you can just press the arrow up on your keyboard. Again, arrow up. And then you have here, the previous use, uh, the, the, the command that you have used previously. So after that, we press enter on our keyboard. Now what's displayed is the value of 
x. Now suppose you wanna you wanna add a um, string uh, together with the value of the variable x. You can just use single quote. Yep, you put inside everything inside the single quote. And then let's say the value of x is x. But in order to get the value of x displayed, we are going to use the dollar sign. Now, this is a string interpolation. So this is how we are going to display the value of the variables. So we have to use the dollar sign. Now, let's save it. Let's run it again. Arrow up. Press enter. Now we have the result here. Now, if we want to display also the value of the variable name and the variable y, no need to use the concatenation. Plus, you just have a space there and then again use the dollar sign y and then dollar sign, uh, which is for the name. Control S, save. Let's clear our screen. CLS, enter. And then let's um, run the Dart example.dart command. Now you have here the result. As easy as that. So that is all for this tutorial. See you in my next videos.